in heaven, we would have perfect joy. If someone we loved on earth who wasn't a believer and rejected God's love wasn't present with us in heaven, would our perfect joy be diminished in any way? Uh, our perfect joy could never be diminished. For one thing, God loves that person that may have rejected him more than we do. And therefore, uh, St. Isaac of Syria said that people that reject God, really, they still have God in their life all the time. It's just that they don't want to turn in his direction. In fact, it would be like if someone of you really liked someone very much or some girl got flowers from someone they didn't want to get flowers from and they kept sending flowers, you'd have to take the name card off of the flower display. In a way, God keeps sending them even because he created them in his image and likeness. His love never ends, just his love burns rather than warms because they've rejected him. So your joy wouldn't be diminished. And one more thing I would like to say that is if you really love them that much and God loves them even more than that, you don't know what their ultimate destiny will be because there is still hope and possibility for that. Uh, Bishop Callisto Swear once said that sometimes people reject God in their conscious minds, but they will be a surprise by joy in heaven to realize that through the good deeds that they did, they had an unconscious desire always to be with him. So I guess I could keep going on, but that would be my answer. And I would add something also related to that. It is so natural and so important for us to pray for uh, our beloved ones and to want, want them to be with us in the kingdom, in that eternal joy and bliss. Uh, if you remember, Jesus prayed for his disciples by saying, I want them to be where I am. As if he said, I cannot imagine myself without them. And uh, that's, that's very important. But as, as His Grace also emphasized, uh, nobody loves them more than God. So. Thank you.